In the summer of 1971, a chilling experiment unfolded in the Stanford University. This was not just any experiment, it was a psychological study that would go down in history for its shocking revelations. Psychologist Philip Zimbardo sought to understand how situational factors influence human behavior. He wanted to explore the dynamics of power and authority and how they could corrupt even the most ordinary individuals. He created a mock prison, recruiting college students to play the roles of guards and prisoners. These students were carefully selected to ensure they were mentally and physically healthy with no history of criminal behavior. What began as a study quickly spiraled into a disturbing display of cruelty. The guards, who were given minimal instructions, began to exhibit increasingly sadistic behavior. The Stanford Prison Experiment remains a stark reminder of the dark potential that lurks within us all. It showed how ordinary people could become perpetrators of evil under certain conditions. It forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about our capacity for evil. The experiment revealed that situational pressures could lead individuals to act in ways they would never have imagined. The experiment was designed to last two weeks but was abruptly halted after just six days. The extreme psychological stress experienced by the participants made it clear that continuing would be unethical. The guards, given minimal instructions, became increasingly abusive and authoritarian. They imposed harsh punishments and created a climate of fear and submission. They subjected prisoners to psychological torture, stripping them of their identities and basic human rights. The prisoners were forced to endure humiliating and degrading treatment. The prisoners, initially resistant, descended into passivity and despair. They lost their sense of self and became mere shadows of their former selves. The Stanford Prison Experiment exposed the ease with which ordinary people can succumb to evil when placed in positions of power. It serves as a powerful lesson on the dangers of unchecked authority and the importance of ethical oversight in any situation involving power dynamics. The Stanford Prison Experiment dramatically illustrates the intoxicating effects of power. This controversial study, conducted in 1971 by psychologist Philip Zimbardo, aimed to investigate the psychological impact of perceived power in a simulated prison environment. The guards, ordinary college students, were transformed by their newfound authority. They were selected for their normal, average personalities, yet the power they were given quickly changed them. They embraced their roles with unsettling enthusiasm, quickly shedding their initial reservations. The uniforms and sunglasses they wore further distanced them from their identities, making it easier to adopt their roles. The guards' behavior became increasingly aggressive and dehumanizing. They began to see the prisoners not as fellow students, but as subjects to control and dominate. They devised creative punishments, relishing their control over the prisoners. These punishments ranged from physical tasks to psychological torment, all designed to break the prisoners' spirits. The absence of external oversight exacerbated the situation. Without any checks and balances, the guards felt emboldened to push the boundaries of their authority. Zimbardo, who also played the role of prison superintendent, failed to intervene effectively. His dual role blurred the lines between researcher and participant, compromising his objectivity. The guards, unchecked and unaccountable, were free to indulge their darkest impulses. This lack of accountability led to increasingly severe and inhumane treatment of the prisoners. The experiment serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers of unchecked power. It highlights how ordinary people can commit extraordinary acts of cruelty when placed in positions of authority without oversight, it underscores the importance of accountability and oversight in any social hierarchy. Without these safeguards, the potential for abuse and dehumanization becomes alarmingly real. Dehumanization emerged as a key factor in the guards' descent into cruelty. They stripped the prisoners of their individuality, referring to them by numbers instead of names. The prisoners were forced to wear humiliating uniforms and were subjected to constant surveillance. This systematic degradation eroded their sense of self-worth and made it easier for the guards to justify their abuse. The prisoners, stripped of their identities, became increasingly passive and compliant. They internalized their roles as powerless and insignificant. 
This dehumanization created a dangerous dynamic, enabling the cycle of abuse to continue unchecked. The Stanford Prison Experiment highlights the profound influence of group dynamics on individual behavior. Conducted in 1971 by psychologist Philip Zimbardo, this controversial study aimed to investigate the psychological effects of perceived power, focusing on the struggle between prisoners and prison officers. The guards, initially hesitant and unsure of their roles, were quickly emboldened by the conformity of their peers. This collective behavior led them to adopt increasingly authoritarian and abusive tactics, showcasing how group influence can override personal morals. As the abuse escalated, dissenting voices were systematically silenced and a pervasive culture of cruelty and dehumanization took hold. The environment became one where questioning authority was not only discouraged, but punished. The prisoners too were deeply impacted by these group dynamics. Stripped of their identities and subjected to constant humiliation, they began to internalize their roles, further perpetuating the cycle of abuse. They witnessed the suffering of their fellow inmates but often failed to intervene, paralyzed by fear and the overwhelming pressure to conform. This inaction highlights the bystander effect, where individuals are less likely to help a victim when other people are present. The experiment starkly demonstrates the power of conformity, even in the face of clear moral transgressions. It reveals how ordinary people can commit extraordinary acts of cruelty when influenced by a group. It shows how easily individuals can be swept along by the actions of a group, even when those actions starkly conflict with their personal values and ethical beliefs. The pressure to conform can be overwhelming and often leads to a loss of personal accountability. The silence of bystanders, both guards and prisoners, allowed the abuse to continue and escalate unchecked. This silence was not just a lack of action, but a powerful form of complicity, enabling the perpetuation of cruelty and suffering within the experiment's confines. Trapped by fear when morality succumbs. Fear played a significant role in the Stanford Prison Experiment. The guards, intoxicated by power, instilled fear in the prisoners to maintain control. The prisoners, subjected to arbitrary punishments and psychological manipulation, became increasingly fearful and submissive. This fear paralyzed them, preventing them from resisting the guards' authority. The experiment reveals how fear can override our moral compass. When faced with a perceived threat, we may prioritize self-preservation over ethical behavior. The prisoners fearing further punishment often chose to comply with the guards' demands, even when those demands were unjust or cruel. The slippery slope, small steps to atrocity. The Stanford Prison Experiment demonstrates the insidious nature of evil. The guards' behavior did not escalate overnight. It began with seemingly insignificant acts of cruelty that gradually increased in severity. This slippery slope phenomenon highlights how small, seemingly harmless actions can pave the way for larger atrocities. The experiment serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that evil often begins with small steps. It underscores the importance of recognizing and resisting even seemingly insignificant acts of cruelty or injustice. Failure to do so can have dire consequences. Resisting evil, empathy, as our weapon. The Stanford Prison Experiment offers valuable lessons about resisting the pull toward evil. Empathy emerges as a powerful antidote to cruelty and dehumanization. By recognizing the humanity of others, even those we perceive as different or threatening, we can break down the cycle of abuse. Cultivating empathy requires conscious effort. It involves stepping outside of our own perspectives and trying to understand the experiences of others. By fostering empathy, we can challenge prejudice, reduce conflict, and create a more just and compassionate world. The Milgram Experiment, Obedience to Authority. The Stanford Prison Experiment is not an isolated incident. Another chilling study, the Milgram Experiment, conducted a few years earlier, revealed the power of obedience to authority. In this experiment, participants were instructed to administer electric shocks to a learner who was actually an actor when they answered questions incorrectly. 
the results were shocking. A significant majority of participants were willing to administer potentially lethal shocks simply because an authority figure told them to do so. The Milgram experiment, like the Stanford Prison experiment, underscores the dangers of blindly following authority. It highlights the importance of critical thinking and moral autonomy. Real World Echoes, Abu Ghraib and beyond. The disturbing findings of the Stanford Prison Experiment have resonated in real world events. The abuses at Abu Ghraib Prison in Iraq, where American soldiers tortured and humiliated Iraqi detainees, bear striking similarities to the dynamics observed in Zimbardo's study. These real world examples serve as stark reminders that the lessons of the Stanford Prison Experiment are not confined to the laboratory. They highlight the urgent need to address systemic factors that contribute to abuse, such as lack of accountability, dehumanization, and the normalization of violence. The importance of accountability preventing future crimes. Preventing future atrocities requires a multifaceted approach. Accountability is crucial. Those in positions of power must be held responsible for their actions. Independent oversight and clear consequences for wrongdoing are essential safeguards against abuse. Furthermore, we must challenge systems and structures that perpetuate inequality and injustice. By promoting fairness, equality and respect for human rights, we can create a society where such atrocities are less likely to occur. A call to reflection, recognizing our own capacity for evil. The Stanford Prison Experiment serves as a chilling reminder of the dark potential that resides within us all. It challenges us to confront our own capacity for evil and to examine the situational factors that can lead us astray. By understanding the psychological mechanisms that contribute to cruelty, conformity and obedience, we can become more resistant to their influence. Self-reflection, critical thinking and a commitment to moral courage are essential tools in the fight against evil. We must remain vigilant challenging injustice and promoting empathy wherever we encounter it.